for joining me for another episode of Tips and Tricks. Like I said the other day, today we're going to be cooking some shrimp. I want to saute shrimp and show you all just how fast and easy it is to make it at home look exactly how it does in the restaurant. Nice big pieces, beautiful pink color, not a rubbery texture, perfect and evenly cooked. Picked up some shrimp today. I got some 12 count. 12 count shrimp was the biggest I could find. They're not huge, but they're really not small. They're a really nice size. Came peeled, which you've got to love. Cut opened and deveined the middle. I do have one and I want to show you how that's done because a lot of times they come and they look like this. See, it's peeled, but there's no cut in the middle and that's essential to what we're doing today. So let's take a look at how to do that real quick. So what we're going to do is quickly take this shrimp, take your knife nice and sharp, and we're going to cut a line right down the middle. There we go. Kind of open up the middle. What you're looking to make sure is that there's no black line through there. There's no vein. We want to de-vein that, meaning we would take it, rinse it out, get that out of there, because we want to make it as pretty as possible. And the key to this dish today is you want a nice, deep cut. You're not cutting it in half, not at all, but a nice, deep cut in there, so it's kind of flat looking, and that's because of how, when it cooks, how we're going to make it sit up. So we're going to cut it like that so it looks nice and flat, see? But then when it's cooked, it's going to puff up and sit up beautifully in the plate. There we go. That is perfect. And to be honest, that's all you have to do. That's it to prep shrimp for sautéing. Butterfly right down the middle. Take whatever is inside that black line, that black vein in there. Get that out. Rinse them off so they're nice and clean. And the next thing you know, you're ready to cook them. Shrimp is a great dish. It's so fast, it's so easy, they're so full of flavor. And depending on the kind you get, where they're from, whether they're farm raised or wild caught, they have a, 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 different, a huge array of flavors. If you're really lucky, you can get gulp shrimp. If you remember, I'm from New Orleans. In my personal opinion, nothing touches gulp shrimp. That flavor, that is the most unique flavor you can find anywhere. I love it. They're so hard to find, but uh, down there, they're everywhere. You gotta love them. Oh, it's such a great flavor. These are wild caught shrimp off the coast of North Carolina. Also, beautiful flavors there. Whether you cook it in a sauce, cover them in a seasoning, or just in some olive oil with salt and pepper, the flavor is fantastic. So we're gonna saute these up now. We're gonna see just how fast it is to do and then make our sauce and have our meal. All right, got some olive oil in a pan here, about two tablespoons, turned it on, getting that nice and hot. Again, never wanna cook with a surface that isn't hot because what's the point? And it can mess up your aesthetic. So we'll let that get good and hot, it only takes a moment. And for fun, we're gonna go ahead and set the timer. Set this timer on five minutes. And when it's time, to put the shrimp in, we'll start the timer. We're going to see just how long this takes to happen. All right. Yeah, we are nice and hot. As soon as we start putting things down, we should hear a sizzle. That's what we're looking for. Love my sizzle. There we go. Very faint. Here it comes. Starting the timer. See how long this takes. All right. As these, as these begin to cook, you immediately see the color start to change. You start to see that pink. It's coming quickly, coming quickly. Here we go. Now for fun, we're going to add a little salt and pepper. Just a few pinches. One, two. That's it. That's all I need. Two nice big pinches, kosher salt, ground black pepper. I say all the time when we're cooking, 
Stay here. Watch the food. Don't go away. It's especially important when you're cooking something like shrimp because, folks, this is fast. So we don't have time to go check on anybody. So everybody stay there. We want to get this right. See, the pick is already coming. Huh? The pink? Let's go ahead and turn them over. They're going to naturally curl a little bit. They're going to naturally start to take a shape. That's okay. We just don't want them to curl into a tight ball because then we know we've overcooked them. Put them all over. Beautiful pink on one side. You can still see a thin gray line in the middle. Gray. We don't want gray. That means it's not done. Now, as they're cooking and we're moving, we've got our white wine. Nice dry white wine. This is one cup. One cup, eight ounces of dry white wine. Added about a quarter. That's all I need. A quarter of white wine finishes these off. The sizzle comes down a little bit. Moving the shrimp in the wine. I've slowed down the cooking process by putting in that cold white wine so it adds a little bit more time but the shrimp weren't done yet anyway. We still had another few moments. All right. There we go. We're getting white, pink on the outside, open pieces. And we're done. Just under three minutes. I love when wine cooks, the moment it hits the heat, you get this release of flavor, this beautiful smell. Take these shrimp out, oh, they came out gorgeous. See how they're sitting up straight? They're not all curled up. Sitting up just the way shrimps should sit. Now. This pan is still extremely hot. So, what we're going to do is make our sauce. Now, put the pan right back on the stove, heat right back on. Butter, three tablespoons total salted butter. Doesn't have to be salted, it could be salted, it could be unsalted. I choose salted, then that way I don't need to add as much salt. Get that butter in. I've already got white wine in there. Fresh thyme. I took a bushel of fresh thyme, took everything off the stems, just got the thyme itself, and all I did couple of chops. Chop, 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 chop. That's it. Just to release flavor. This is one and a half tablespoons. Fresh thyme. Ooh, man. It's got kind of a spice smell to it. A little bit of a spice. Three cloves of garlic. Three cloves, fresh garlic. Chopped them up. Not fine, just big chops. Slice, 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 chop, 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 done. We've got butter. We've got garlic. And a little bit more of our white wine. And that's it. That's all we need for this. I'm going to put one small pinch of salt and pepper.
As I said in the previous video, the heat on this stove goes up to nine or high. Uh, I have it on seven because this is quick. It's already starting to simmer. A boil is starting. Man, does that smell good. Only thing I'm going to do to finish this off, I took a fresh lemon, cut it in half, and squeezed it in here. I'm just pouring a couple blip. That's it. That's it. Finish it off. So if you took the half of the lemon and squeezed, one squeeze, done. I did it that way because I hate having to pick the seeds out. I don't want to do that. That's it. Sauce is over. It is time to plate this food. Woo. All right, let's get this plated up. As I said, you could pair something like this with any side dish you would like. White rice, brown rice, sauteed spinach, um, angel hair pasta, serve it by itself, however you want to do it. Personally, we like a lot of rice, so um, I'm going to do it with some white rice. So I just made some regular jasmine white rice, got it nice, picked a nice white bowl, put the rice right there in the middle. Remember, we've got to make our aesthetics. Got to make it pretty. Put the rice in the middle. I'm going to put the shrimp around it. The tails face in. Okay? The tails face in. That is important. Why? I have absolutely no idea. It, it's, it, it, it's just my thing, I guess. It's just for the look. And it's a pretty look. Five shrimp. We have our sauce. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. And I'm gonna, I told you this was a thyme garlic butter drizzle. Here's why it's a drizzle. Because I'm drizzling it around the plate. I don't need a lot. I want it around the edges. I'm going to put just a drop in the middle. And for that aesthetic piece, the color pop, if you will, we're not using parsley this time. We're not using scallions. Diced Roma tomatoes. Nice, beautiful red tomatoes. All I did, cored out the middle, chopped them up into little pieces. This is purely for color. See? A couple go around, a few go on top. Done. Sauteed shrimp, white wine, thyme, garlic, butter, drizzle. Love it. So light, so summery, huh? And Fast. I promised you fast. I wanted to make this a fast video. We cooked the shrimp in what? Just under three minutes? Done. Fast. Ladies and gentlemen, have fun making this. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, remember, shoot me an email, hospitalityinthegenes at gmail.com. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, which I hope you did. Share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you have not done so. Let's keep growing, let's keep going, let's make more food, let's go through some more tips, let's learn some more tricks. Most importantly, enjoy that. Have a great week, I'll see you in a few days. Bye.